Well, good morning, everyone. Hope you're doing good and having a great week. To all my returning subscribers, thank you for your support. And to all our viewers and those recently subscribed, thank you and welcome to this channel. So as you can see on your screen, I have my Kookaburra coin collection up again. And for this video, we're going to talk about my latest Kookaburra coin purchase, which is this 2 ounce silver Kookaburra issued in 1992. This is the first 2 ounce Kookaburra coin issued by the Perth Mint for this series. And incidentally, this is the first 2 ounce Kookaburra coin that I have in my collection. Now this uh, series was minted for 2 years in 1992 and 1993. The designs of the coins are unchanged and the coins were produced in either brilliant uncirculated or improved. Being the first 2 ounce Kookaburra coin of the series, the Puff Mint did not use the reverse seen on the 1992 1 ounce Kookaburra coin for this 2 ounce version. Here on the right, you can see the 1 ounce version of the Kookaburra coin released in 1992 and as you can see, the reverse are different. Instead, for this first 2 ounce Kookaburra coin, the Perth Mint used the reverse that was seen on the first 1 ounce Kookaburra coin issued in 1990. That's the one that you can see here on your right. Now for those who have been following my channel, you will know that I only collect the 1 ounce Kookaburra coins for my collection. So you might be wondering why I purchased this 2 ounce version. Uh, it's because I managed to score this coin from a private sale at almost uh, very near to silver spot price. Uh, this coin is actually not in the best of condition. You can see a little bit of tarnishing over here. And on the obverse, it's even worse. You can see quite a lot of tarnishing around the queen and along the edges. Uh, this coin is also not in this original capsule. I believe uh, these earlier 2 ounce Kookaburra coins are issued in a square capsule which is uh, pretty similar to the ones issued for the earlier 1 ounce Kookaburra coin series. However, having scored this coin at pretty close to silver spot price, I didn't mind the condition or that it's not in its original capsule and I thought this 2 ounce coin would be a perfect candidate as a dipping coin for my thinner silver cleaning solution. So for this video, we're going to get this coin dipped into the solution and we'll see whether the solution will effectively remove all the tarnishing on the surface of the coin. Then I'm going to get the coin dried out and then we'll return to the studio where I'll continue with the design and specifications and finally share with you some of my thoughts. But before we get into this, do leave me a like if you enjoy this sort of content and don't forget to share and subscribe. So let's get into it. Alright, uh, we're back. Thank you for staying on. Unfortunately, after dipping this coin for more than 10 minutes in the Lina a Silver Tarnish Remover, there's a very little improvement in the removal of the tarnish from the surface of this coin. As you can see here on the obverse, uh, the major portions of the tarnishing uh, remains. It's a little bit better here on the reverse. Uh, the previous uh, tarnishing here has uh, gone off a little bit. You can still see uh, two bits here. But that's uh, really the best that I can do with the tarnish remover. 
I believe this coin has uh, actually been dipped before or has been cleaned before and I can see a lot of scratches and ding marks around the coin it's had a difficult life I did test it out with the CCT Super Slide and it checks out to be a genuine uh, silver coin so I don't know why the uh, silver tarnish remover uh, didn't remove all this tarnish over here it might not even be tarnish it could be I don't know maybe a residue of sticky tapes or something like that but anyway uh, let's just move on and uh, go through the design and specifications of this uh, 2 ounce 1992 Kukupara silver coin so this coin is minted in 3 nice fine silver it has a weight of 62.207 grams or 2 troy ounces a diameter of 50 millimeters and a thickness of approximately 2.71 millimeter with an interrupted readered edge you can see the reading over here and the smooth part of the edge quite a lot of damage on the edge actually Here on the obverse, we can see the third portrait of the Queen by Raphael David McClough. You can see his initials are RDM are just over here at the base of the shoulder. And the portrait is facing to the right and is set on an almost a matte finished background. Along the mirrored border, we have the legend, Elizabeth II, the country of issue, Australia, and the face value of $2. As you can see here on the obverse, uh, the condition of the coin is rather poor. There's a lot of scratches and scuff marks on it. And again, all the tarnishing over here. Right here on the reverse, the condition is much better. With just a little bit of tarnishing, as I pointed out just now. You can see this uh, design here by Stuart Devlin. And on it, you can see a kookaburra facing to the right and perched on a branch. Uh, the design is set on an almost a matte finish background. And on the mirror border, we can see the uh, inscription. We have the name of the coin, the Australian Kookaburra, the composition of the metal, the two ounce, three nice fine silver, and the year issue of 1992. I do note that the initials of the designer, uh, Stuart Devlin, uh, typically is SD, is not present uh, anywhere on this side of the coin. As I mentioned briefly just now, uh, this coin was minted for two years, 1992-1993. Uh, they were minted in two different uh, finish a brilliant unsculated or improved uh, this is the BU version and uh, there were also a number of coins minted with privy marks uh, just to quickly share I'll scroll through the mintage numbers on your screen uh, right now so you guys can have a quick look at it Uh, do take note that for the 1992 uh, George V uh, Privy Mark coins, there were only 500 minted, and those coins are considered rare. Okay, uh, with the design and specifications out of the way, uh, the coin now are back in the capsule. I'm a little bit disappointed that I couldn't uh, remove the uh, tarnishing on the coin, but having paid a uh, around a six dollars a six singapore dollars above spot for this coin which is a two ounce of silver i thought i did really well uh, this coin here has no uh, numismatic value or collector value now it's just uh, a silver piece and if i wanted to get my money back i would probably have to sell this coin for now still i thought it was a nice piece uh, to get and try to uh, do a uh, dipping on video and share this uh, experience with all of you uh, in our coin community again unfortunately it didn't work the way i wanted but i hope you guys are uh, enjoyed uh, watching me get this coin dip in the liner uh, silver tarnish remover and with that i guess that will do it for this video thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed uh, watching me trying to get uh, this kookaburra coin clean so that it's in a more presentable uh, condition Unfortunately, you failed, but I hope you enjoyed the experience with me. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, don't forget to leave me a like if you have enjoyed this content. And be sure to hit that share and subscribe buttons down here if you have not done so. 
as always from everybody over here you know, please take care be safe and have a nice day in addition to this uh, two ounce kookaburra coin i also managed to score uh, this coin here which is a 1991 kookaburra coin uh, mounted in this uh, plastic case or holder this is actually a quite a collectible piece and i actually scored this at a really good deal along with this i did find uh, this coin here this is a 1990 kookaburra coin well tarnished but unlike the coin that i purchased previously i did get this coin a really a good deal along with this case over here and both these coins here will be the subject of my next video about the kookaburra coins in my collection